Here we're going to solve a logarithm for x. And we have the question, solve for x of the logarithm of base 5 of x plus 4 plus the log base 5 of x minus 4 equals to 2. Now the first step that we want to do is condense the logarithm. Now in order to condense the logarithm, I can change it into the product of logarithms by taking the log base 5 of x plus 4 times x minus 4 equals 2. That's the property of logarithms. When we see a product, we can separate them out with an addition sign into two logarithms. So we're just condensing the logarithm. Now I can use the definition of what a logarithm is and take 5, the base raised to what it's equal to, and set equal to x plus 4 times x minus 4. That's by the definition of logarithms. We can do that. So we take the base, raise it to what it's equal to, and set it equal to what's inside the logarithm. Now this whole thing really goes together. It's part of the logarithm. So that's why we set it equal to x plus 4 times x minus 4. Now in order to simplify, I have to distribute first on the right hand side, and the left hand side is going to be 5 squared, or 5 times 5 is 25. Well, distributing property, or, or foiling it out, we've got x squared plus, four, uh, plus a minus 4x plus 4x is 0x minus 16, 4 times negative 4. Now I can add 16 to both sides and get x squared is equal to 41. And then take the square root of both sides, but it turns into plus and minus because that's what happens when we take the square root of both sides. I get two answers. One is plus square root of 41, and the other one is negative square root of 41. So there's two answers. Negative square root of 41, and x equals positive square root of 41. But we always want to go back into our original equation and check to make sure that our answer is right, because one of them may not work, or one may produce a false statement. In this case, x equals negative square root of 41 produces a false statement. If I were to check my work using the change of base formula, I could use my calculator as long as I'm in base 10. That's how I could use my calculator. So the final answer is x is equal to the square root of 41.